Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dom Lovely. I am your source for all celebrity entertainment news and all points of view. Alright guys, well, I was wondering when the Jacksons would give an official response as it relates to the interview Oprah Winfrey did with both James Safechuck and Wade Robeson in the After Neverland special courtesy of HBO. Well, Radar Online and the Griot website is reporting that the family has been in conversation and say that they feel Oprah's interview with the accusers is the ultimate betrayal. They say they feel extremely betrayed by Oprah and consider her to be a dear and close family friend. Over the years, we have seen Oprah do interviews with the Jacksons separately to include Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, LaToya Jackson, and Katherine Jackson. She even interviewed Lisa Marie Presley after the death of Michael, who was once married briefly to him. So the family is feeling like a line has been crossed here and there's no coming back from it. While doing radio interviews across the country to defend their uncle, both Taj Jackson and Brandy Jackson say that they have speaking with the family and they say they speak for them when they say Oprah has definitely betrayed them and they feel that this is very disappointing. They refer to the interview as being a one-sided propaganda. Brandy says as far as journalism goes that Oprah really let them down. Now Taj on the other hand says he isn't surprised by Oprah's actions and that he has seen this side of her before. He goes on to say, for me, I've seen it happen before. I was there when she was requesting an interview with my grandma and Michael's kids talking about Michael was misunderstood after his death. She does what she needs to do to get ratings. To me, it's an ultimate betrayal. Now that's what Taj had to say. Brandy said she dated Robeson for seven years, which include the time period when he alleges he and the King of Pop had an inappropriate relationship. She questioned the time frame and said she knows Robeson very well and could tell that he was lying. Taj Jackson said he actually got Robeson and his entire family into his uncle's memorial service after they requested to be there. He goes on to say, it makes me more angry than anything because these guys are pulling one on the public and they're getting over. I think what is missing here, in my opinion, is the fact that Oprah opened the After Neverland interview by saying this is not just about Michael Jackson, this is about child endangerment and what could happen to a child if the parents are not being observant of the people around their children and how parents need to look for certain signs. Now, since the documentary aired, Oprah has gone on to work on several different projects. She has helped publish Alicia Keys' new book scheduled to come out this spring, and she still continues to speak to different universities about creating a brand for themselves and the importance of doing what you love. So you guys get down in the comments to let me know what you think about the Jacksons' feelings towards Oprah they feel that she has in fact betrayed them or is Oprah simply shedding light on a conversation that needed to be had on how children can be preyed upon by someone that's most likely very close to them. You guys don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and we will chat again soon. Bye.